Hey, you guys made it to the Hoot Nanny. That's where we are, right? The Hoot Nanny. Or are we uh, leading the the zombies? I'm pretty sure we left up on the Hoot Nannies. Ah, had a nice burger. Now I'm ready to play this game. Looks like things are coming together. Yeah, we still need to figure out lighting, music, and something to write on that banner. If we're gonna die, we should have some fun first. Right? Music? But Lewis isn't here. See that? <laughs> it's like Lewis in a box. Wouldn't be a party without some kind of mood lighting. I've been going back and forth between colors for ages. Purple. Green's calming, but purple might be nice. Room gets natural moonlight, so something to compliment that, maybe? Hmm. Well, purple was my dad's favorite color. I read somewhere purple was a color of royalty. Purple. <laughs> really? What? I like purple. I like purple. Shouldn't you like it too? Violet? I didn't even take that in. I'll make it happen. So you take one of those black things that look like plates and... Are we using the banner for some kind of party theme? Mm, not exactly. I cut her off. It's meant to be more motivational. My bad. I'd keep it short though. There's not as much room as you think. Oh, let's I was thinking let's something AJ uplifting something. like, we're gonna get through this. AJ, why don't you come up with something? Really? I have an What do you idea. mean, really? It'll be a surprise. I what promise not to at? swear all over it. Okay, we'll have Ten break out his paintbrush and ride it out. Okay, music. Wait, what do I do? Oh, there. Pulled out the old headmaster's gramophone so he could play some records. Not much of a selection, but it should do. Just tell me what you want to listen I'm to. I'm more of a classical kind of guy. You guys have any classical? You bet. This place is gonna look great. Oh, and Willie was asking for you. He's up in Marlin's office. He said he had a surprise for the party, but he wanted to show it to you first. All right, Willie. Hey, Clem, check it out. I found a bunch of books on ships. There's some awesome stuff about fires at sea and explosions and stuff. The key is the boiler. Wait, what are you talking about? I have an idea about how to stop those assholes coming back to the school after we've rescued the others. And from hurting anyone else ever again. We're gonna blow up the boat. It's the That's only way to evil. make sure they don't come back. Besides, it feels right, you know? For Mitch. I don't want to uh, discourage you, but we're going to be on that boat to rescue the others. Please, don't get us killed. What? No! I mean, yeah, I still have a few details to work out, but don't worry. I'll make sure there's time for you to get off the boat before she explodes. Trust me, this will work. We'll be okay. Okay, everybody, get ready to boogie. Hmm. And, um, Clem, I'm sorry for before, about how he treated Ten. I didn't mean to get so angry. I know it's not his fault. That's nice, Willie, but don't tell me. Tell Ten. Exactly. The way AJ is dancing to classical music. Wow, this looks great, Ruby. Couldn't have done it without you. But just wait till you see what else I've got planned. Go ahead and mingle. I'll let you know when it's time. I guess I'll mingle. I guess I'll mingle. 
I have no choice. I see you two are working together. Yeah, Willie asked me to help with his special project. Well, that's good to hear. Is it ready? Good to go, Clem. It'll work. Actually, ah, uh, I was thinking maybe we should name it. What is it? Something cool. I mean, I think it deserves a name. All right, sure, man. All the sure, best Willie. Have names. We'll name it. Yeah, we'll we absolutely it. have to name it. I thought you'd make is fun that of the bomb? Me, but... Hell yeah. Let's name his fucker. You made it. Oh, so Mitch's masterpiece. Willie Jr. That's like my name. Alvin Jr. It is. Should've I used called... to hate my name. Not anymore. I should have said Mitch's. Welcome to the world, WJ. I found them. This is a photo album? Okay, Clementine. These here are our official Ericsson psych evaluations oh. and probationary reports. That sounds okay. so fun. Okay. I don't get it. Well, these explain why all of us got sent to this school in the first place. Actually, that's pretty cool. And all the bad shit we did that kept them from sending us back home. So, what's the game? I figured if we're all going on this crazy mission together, you might as well know who we really are. So, I'll read some of what the adults thought about us. And you have to guess which one of us fits the bill. Oh my god. I'll make sure it's someone you've actually met. This'll be the first one. While otherwise a remarkable student, blank continues to be plagued by fits of anger, uncontrollable cursing, and repeated physical altercations with the senior faculty. Mitch? Marlin? Well, not to speak ill of the dead, but that sounds exactly like Marlin. You'd think so, but nope. Is it you? Really? The person in the file? <laughs> Imagine Marlin times another Marlin. That's Ruby's file! <laughs> Holy shit, really? Guilty as charged. Yeah, you should have seen Ruby back in the early days. She was like, uh, you ever seen those Tasmanian devil cartoons when you were a kid? <laughs> that was our Ruby. He used to have a mean streak a mile long. <laughs> Don't worry, that was a long time ago. I mean, I can totally see it. The first time I met Ruby, she was all, That little motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> I said I was sorry. You guys want to know why I got sent here? Willie, please, no. Chronic masturbation. <laughs> what the fuck? Trust me. <laughs> Nobody wanted to know that. What does that mean? Uh-uh, don't you dare. Yeah. D Ten! Come on! <laughs> uh, anyway, maybe we should change up the music? What you mean? Well, like all right, let's listen to music, jazz. I think. There's a lot of them. Put on Old Town I mean, Road? I don't know. A right. lot. Let's put on sure, jazz. Sure, we've heard enough of this. Break out the jazz. Break out the jazz. I didn't realize how many of us we lost. Remember yeah. that Justin guy? And Theresa and Jasper, that one girl with colored braces, and Joey, Maddie, yeah. Lamar. Aaron. Yeah, I used to make fun of her braces. Why did I do that? Alex, Dewey, Trey, Stephanie. Damn, yeah, that's a lot. Holy crap, how many of us died? 34. That's why Marlin was like, I think your pain times 30. Now they're just sad. Whose is it? Lewis. Should we read it? I could tell you why I was sent here instead. You know, as a consolation prize or whatever. 
You might hate me after, but since we're all being so open and all. I wonder how dark. The person you are right now is all that matters to me. That's so Whatever deep. bad things you did in the past, that's not you anymore. Hey, hey I've got an idea. Do you guys remember when Minnie would sing us Don't Be Afraid when all of us used to get scared? Too bad I can't play it. We would have known her. He liked that one. You could just sing it to us like she used to. Your voice is really pretty. Okay. Yeah, with the okay. jazz music yeah. in the background. All right, I uh, I can do that. All right. in the background stop never mind the blood red moon the night will be over soon pretty good it's pretty good the night will be over soon oh. brush away the sorrow this is like the calm before the storm, you know? Brush away the tears Sing away your heavy heart The night will be over It reminds me of like, Game of Thrones When Podrick sang The night will be over soon For every night goes quiet And every moon grows blue Beyond the dark comes something new The sun will be rising soon the sun will be rising soon. The sun will be rising soon. That's beautiful. Train. What? Yeah. That's. I remember this. Season one. Wait, is Lee here? Lee. Lee. Hey, sweet pea. Oh my god. We? Lee! My man! Why the train? You always pick the train. Oh my god. His I'm voice. I'm not sure. And maybe because this is where it all started. Where you taught me to shoot and to cut my hair. To be ready for what was coming. You were a quick study. So, what's on your mind this time? Lee's an HD now. I'm worried, Lee. I've got a lot of people depending on me, and I don't <coughs> know if what I'm doing is right. Oh, this is all in Clem's mind. Right? Oh, I know that feeling. You know, I was uh, making it all up as I went along, right? <sighs> Couldn't let on, of course. 
with you being so little. You kind of had to think on your feet. Monsters took over the world, and you got stuck taking care of an eight-year-old girl. Clem looks a little bit different. You were a handful, but I didn't get stuck with anything. You kept me going. You want to tell me about what you're up against? I'm with a new group now, and I've been in so many, and they always fall apart. But I really like this one. It's different. It almost feels like home. That's a good thing. It's hard being alone out there. But we're in trouble. Some bad people captured my friends, and getting them back might get the rest of us killed. I'm not worried. What? Whatever trouble you're in, you get out of it. You get your friends out of it. You don't know that. His voice is so smooth. I know you're a survivor. The Clementine I know is gonna fix it. I really believe that. Yeah, I made it this far, didn't I? You sure did. When a lot of other people couldn't. Never give in, Clem. Imagine what Lewis is gonna say when he sees your face. Those boys are gonna have hope again knowing that you came to rescue him. Oh, Lee. Oh, sweet pea, you know you always get like this before something big. Remember how scared you were before you charged into that mess at McCarroll Ranch? Mm. You survived that, didn't you? was different. I was alone. I know. It's, a throwback. it's harder when you have something to lose. But having people you care about, that's a good thing. They're fighting beside you. Because of you. I'm so glad to see Lee again. Even Come see me again. When you've gotten them out, okay? Out and safe. No, this is Clem's conscious. Sound good. And hopefully we can talk I about happier so things. Much, Lee. Lee, I miss you so much. I wish you were really here. That's so sad. I miss you too, Clementine. But we'll have to make do with pretending. Oh, that's so sad. Thank you, Lee. Talking to you always makes me feel a little bit better. I meant to ask, how's the boy? He's good, Lee. You'd like him. Uh, ben, you teach him to shoot yet? <laughs> you have no idea. I guess the world got pretty hard since I left it. Kid growing up in it, he'd be hard too. You're in my shoes now, raising a kid. Think you got a handle on it? Uh, it can't be easy. Wanting to give him a childhood, but knowing what it takes to survive now. It was easier for me since the world was just changing. What do I say? But you're living in one that's changed completely. You'd be so amazingly. I've taught him to be strong and brave and capable. He'd be so proud. You mean more than I already am? Ah. Grown up. Just look at oh, you. Oh man, I'm gonna cry. <laughs> Thought I told you to keep this short. Um, you don't know how hard it is to find scissors these days. <laughs> Time to go, Clementine. You've got people that need you. Goodbye, 
Lee. If Lee could only see Clementine all grown up like this. Clem, wake up. It's time to go. Ah. Uh. We got a long walk. I think that's where I'll end it. I think that's where I'll end it. That's such a good spot to leave it. It's a good spot to leave it, you know? Glad to leave it on a nice touching note with Lee. Alright. Well, I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace for now.